What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I have a special open for you guys, one that I've been really excited about ever since the voting went on, and that is the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Sacred Beast Structure Deck. Yeah, I believe it's technically called, uh, was it Sacred Beast of Chaos, I think is the full name, but yeah, the Sacred Beast actually got a Structure Deck, and I still think that is amazing. That was one of the ones I voted on, whatever we could vote for the next Structure Deck, because I just wanted to see what Konami could do. I mean, there's a little bit of that nostalgia as well, and I'm glad that supposedly Charmers is the next one too, that was another one. I wanted to see what Konami would do with it, but yeah, Sacred Beast actually having a Structure Deck, it seems like it's a fake product, right? I mean, it does look like some kind of fan-made thing, but no, this is actually legit. And by the way, too, we should get this in English, I believe it's July 10th, if I remember correctly. So we don't have to wait too long, it'll be this summer. And hopefully, with the stuff that's going on right now, um, things will calm down by then, and we'll be able to use the structure deck then, too, because I'm really excited about it. Anyway, though, of course, just like with Japanese structure decks, it comes with, like, an enhancement pack or whatever it's called. Basically, you have a chance of getting, you know, I think it's basically the Sacred Beasts as either Super Rares or Secret Rares. For us, though, when it's out in English, it'll all just be one deck of cards. So, just like with Shadals and Soul Burner and all the others. So, it's really cool. And even the pack itself, it's like holographic. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I don't know. I I'm just kind of geeking out over this because I, I think it's amazing. And I've been looking forward to it. Anyway, though, let's open it up and I'll show you guys the cards. By the way, it is a structure deck, so there is nothing random about this. I should be very careful. <laughs> so, you're going to get the same cards. Like I said, I think the only randomness is that the, the pack that's in it you have a chance of getting them as secret rares or supers. But at the end of the day, you're getting the same cards. For us, there won't be any difference at all. Which I kind of wish they would do that with us, make them a little random, but eh, whatever. But the new support for Sacred Beasts is pretty cool. And also, too, before I forget, I got this from jockrod.com. Check them out, link in the description. Okay, that's where I buy a majority of the Japanese stuff I open up. So check them out. Really awesome place. I've ordered from them. God, I don't know how long. Uh, a lot of years, so I definitely recommend them. So here is the pack itself. Like I said, we'll get to that here in just a second. I'll show you guys everything that's in this first. You have the play mats. Then, of course, the deck of cards. So move all this to the side because I want to show off this play mat real quick because I think it looks really cool. So there you go. You have uh, the play mat right here with Uriah, Raviel, and Haman. Looks amazing. I would love this as an actual mouse pad material playmat. They might end up doing that. I'm pretty sure. And then, of course, just like with any other structure deck, you have, like, everything that's in this, the card list, showing you some of the combos and stuff as well, and how the new cards work, and even advertising some other sets where you can get some more cards to help you out, too. So, the usual stuff, even what we see over here in English. So, probably no change on that, really. So, let's go with the pack first, I guess, before we get to the structure deck. All right, did we get the secret rare ones? And, oh, they're ultra rare. I thought it was, oh, okay, the secret beasts are ultra rare. It's the new uh, spell card that you can get as super. All right. So we'll see. First off, obviously, Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames. Then Haman, Lord of Striking Lightning. And then Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Then Armital is our secret rare. Okay. That is really cool. I guess if you're going to get one as a secret rare, that might be the one to go with. This is, of course, their fusion. It's been out for... When did it come out? Was it Ancient Prophecy, I think? We've had it for quite a while, so yeah, that is awesome to see. And then this is the brand new card for them, too, that will help you fuse and everything. It is called a Dimension Fusion Destruction. So basically, a, a way to make Armital a lot easier is, is pretty much the card, as you can tell. Artwork looks amazing. And I believe it's this artwork they have of the sleeves, which I didn't get the sleeves. Jokra didn't have them in yet, and I wanted to get this for an opening quickly. But I'll buy the sleeves later on, and I'll show them in a video or something if you guys want. Let me know. But, yeah, let me get through this plastic real quick, which, by the way, it's actually in plastic. Huh. And, uh, yeah, then we'll go through the cards. All right, here we go. So, starting off, we have our new version of Raviel. This isn't just like an altar art. It is actually uh, Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, Heaven Crushing Fist is its name. So, one heck of a name. It's, it's kind of like a new version of him, basically. Like I said, at first when I saw this when it was announced, I thought it was an altar art. Would have been cool for them to get new artwork, though, too. Then we have Haman's new card. Basically, they're making it so they're all easier to summon as well. That's what you're saying. So this is the one for Haman, which is uh, Cerulean Skyfire. The Raviel card, by the way, I believe makes it easier to summon the original Raviel. This works for Haman, of course. And this is the one for Uriah, which is, um, let's see, Hyper Blaze is its name. Obviously, I don't have all these card names memorized just yet. Probably have some changes on that. Then they also have some parallel cards. Of course, unfortunately, we're not going to have that rarity. Let's see, this one is uh, Chaos Core. I believe this is another one to help out with uh, Raviel. It's one of your uh, 
fiends, basically, to help you with that. Then, also, um, Dark Beckoning Beast. After that, we have Chaos Summoning Beast. Another one of the newer cards we have here is uh, the Seven Spirit Gates Unleashed. New continuous spell. Then a continuous uh, trap card, which I love the artwork on this, by the way. They look like they're going Super Saiyan. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Uh, let's see. It is uh, Sacred Beast Awakening. I, I love that artwork, too. And then, yeah, I think after that, we have uh, just like some reprints and stuff that go along with uh, the Sacred Beast and with the show and everything, like Dark Summoning Beast is this one. Then, yeah, of course, uh, Gear Golem. Then, yeah, I mean, Chaos Phantom. That's probably one of the better ones, too, getting uh, Phantom Sky Blaster. Mad Reloader. Yeah, a lot of U Bell's cards. Even, uh, it was kind of funny, we even have Rainbow Dark Dragon, which I guess U Bell technically used whenever she was controlling, or he or she, I don't know, was controlling Jesse. Trajodia. Even one of the Kaijus, Radeon. It's a pretty good reprint. Puppet Master, I think. <laughs> Farfa. There you go. You even get one of the Burning Abyss. Then there's like the field spell for them. Uh, was it was it Fallen Paradise? I know that's one we already have. I think it was Duel Saga. Yeah, Fallen Paradise is the same. I, I actually had that right. I'm surprised. <laughs> so there you go. And you get like all the Seer Beast cards. Spell Chronicle. You Bell used that, of course, in the anime as well. So pretty neat on that. Even the you know just everything you would need one for one. Pot of Desires. Probably one of the bigger reprints. I would say even though those cards not the toughest to get anymore. It's a good reprint. Kaiser Coliseum. Uh, that one's pretty interesting, too. Remember the days of everyone using that. Mystical Space Typhoon, Turn from Dark Dimension. Then even, of course, Mistake, which is probably one of the better reprints. Dark Factory. And yeah, we just got this card from Duel uh, Overload. Yeah, uh, the Phantasm. Let's see, Phantasm Emperor uh, Tr Trilogy, I think is how you say his name. Yeah, so you might want to pick up the holographic one. I think he's really cheap because he's easy to get from that set. So <laughs> there you go. You actually get him from this, too. So I wonder if he's still going to be reprinted for us. And you even get a couple of token cards, like for Reviel, and like one of these phantom tokens as well. So, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's a really cool structure deck. Uh, what do I think about it, though, altogether, reprint-wise and everything? For reprints, I mean, Desires, I feel like it's like your main one, Phantom Sky Blaster as well, being a really good reprint from this. Other than that, I mean, um, I think this is going to be a little bit more for fun, a little bit of that nostalgia and stuff, too, which there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. Like I said, that's one of the main reasons I was excited about this structure deck, so let me know what you guys think about it. For me, I'm definitely going to get this when it's out in English, of course, too. I'll buy three of them, and I do plan to do a deck profile because a reason to use Sacred Beasts again, like I said, that nostalgia just gets me. But yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out jockride.com, link in the description, like and subscribe and all that, too, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.